geraniums. Yeah. Bare necessities. Let me know in the comments below if you hate packing on a Monday. Morning on this lovely Sunday morning. We have a nice cup of tea. It's the first longer star video I've done in a couple of weeks because I've been so busy. And also, I didn't go down the car boot this morning because I just didn't need to really. And I just didn't want to get muddy, proper mud like, because it's been raining last about three days mostly. So I didn't really bother. A couple of items to get out one in the sheds and one in the conservatory. Just nice to see the blue sky. Like one day. Um, today, Sunday, we're having a nice day. Next week, horrible. It's in box nine, so I've got to move this box first, shove this box over, then pull the box out to get the Xbox 360 game that sold. The game that sold yesterday, the Xbox 360 game, Call of Durez, sold for £5 plus postage, and it's going GSP to Netherlands. One of the items that I wanted gone anyway, so happy with that, it's gone. £5 plus postage. As you can see, the eBay room is untidy and there's no workspace to pack the items because this here, all the way round, is supposed to be a packing area, but eight times out of ten, it ain't. So I've got to move it so I can get that packed and another item packed a little bit later on. I need to have a tidy up at some point and sort out what I've got because I've got stuff like, for example, weed stuff. There, and I've got another we two wees over there. Get on for Christmas and board games and stuff. And it's space, mate. I've got space. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Miracles are up. This stuff's been here at least four weeks or more. So today I'm going to try and get this section done. These two are all um, already done. Put on, just got to put them underneath the table at some point. I've got to do this box. What's on here? I've got to do these. I might get these done as well, photographs, um, today. So there's quite a few in here, probably about 15 listings, something like that. I also got these, before I forget, to work through um, as, as well. Some of these, and this one as well. Plus, I've drafted up that Harry Potter as well. That's got to go today to do the photographs for second edition Harry Potter. And then I've done this Germany one about, what, 30, 35 pound online. Have a quick wander down the garden and show you the garden, how it is after all that rain we've had. What are we doing now, like? Well, the geraniums... Yeah. I overwinter them, but you have to get rid of all the dead stuff. All right. And trim them a bit, otherwise they're too big. And Fair you, enough. You have to spray them to make sure there's no insects or anything. As I say, this is the only day we've got to do it, because next week's supposed to be horrible. Um, most of the week, anyway. The other day I sold a Czech phrase book, which is in Box Free Conservatory, so I get that out. I think I sold that for £8 plus postage. What country is Czech now? According to Wikipedia, the Czech Republic, also known as Czechia, is a landlocked country in Central Europe. So this Czech phrase book sold for £8 plus postage. Surprising how sturdy this Wilco box actually is, considering the weight we've got on top of it in this box for and not many items go in the box, and not many items go out of the box that often, so it's roughly the same weight. And we have to have the box on the lid of the other box, because otherwise if you have it on here, you'll literally crack it to pieces. And also we've got to have this cloth on it, because the sun comes in like, mainly 
um, during the summer period, as you can see, and it shines in. Not so much here, but when it was here, it shined a lot more. So I put it on there anyway to stop the items getting sun faded. Lovely. Gonna have some lunch in a bit because it's just gone quarter to one. Gonna grab the items out so I can do the photographs after lunch. So we've got first one, the Horrible Histories, pull that one out of there. Then we've got these Stoke City programs been sitting here for a long, long time. Got these ones that and this box. Then these three here. Um, you go cards. Get those done. Keep those protectors. Harry Potter book. And then underneath that, we've got this World Cup, um, Germany 2006 sticker album. Just have a few things that are on here, down here where the box was because it can't get anywhere to do the packing like these two. So shovel this here, get these clothing bits. Um, actually, no, I put clothing bits on the chair. Not a fan of putting clothing on, on the floor as such. So these um, wheels and um, trucks for the penny boards down here. Got a little bit of space to do the packing now. Normally that would be gone. Those wouldn't be here. Same with these. So you've got all this area, but moment just this area. <laughs> just watching the latest instalment of Tubes and Ange Golf Life, including Jimmy Bullard. This is Jimmy Bullard versus Simon Davis, ex footballer, ex Welsh footballer. This was filmed beginning of August, so I've only just got it out on to YouTube, their channel on YouTube, which I'll link in the description below. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video, you golf life legends. Jim. Wow. Who have we got on finally? I just got him. Digger Simon Davis, my old mate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so Absolutely good to be here. Mate. Unbelievable. We used to play. Just a few things that I'm going to be photographing this afternoon for a share of you, what they are. So we got the Pikachu with the label, Lingy, Gaming Mouse, L-I-N-G-Y-I, -I, Gaming Mouse, Lord of the Rings books, got the Times, Maths, English, Science, Information, Technology, IT, two of these HS tapes um, for video cameras, got about four or five of these Strongbow Cloudy Apple ones, so just photograph the one, micro quantity and all that, Stoke City, the stickers, Black Oblin books, Harry Potter, um, trucks, independent truck company, um, skateboard trucks. Then we've got these, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Lovejoy, Live Aid, Winnie the Pooh, and we've got the Life Collection, David Attenborough. Here we are with the newer lights. They might take a while to set up, but they're worth their weight in gold. You can see bits and pieces for the lights. like these bits they're worth it though because they actually detract the shadow quite a lot and you've got these bits like you can turn it up turn it down and these are actually plugged in so you plug them into a mains which i'll plug it into over there take me ages probably take me about 10 minutes to set them up but once set up they're worth it when you extend the light just like this right to its maximum it wobbles quite a lot so you've got to be careful not to knock it over or it just falls over so you've got to have the leg extended quite a lot, but I never bothered to do this particular height or any height, I just leave it like normal. If I've got a slightly bigger item that needs one notch up, for example, from there to there, then I will do, but normally I just leave it like that. So now I've got to go and get the um, plug, put it all in and show you it lit up. Bare necessities, simple bare necessities. Uh, your worries and your strides. Oh, <laughs> so I was just on the radio um, from the Jungle Book. This is the power socket I use for those lights. I was using another light which has had a battery in, but it's easier to use this light with the power socket into the mains. Got it off Amazon, can't remember how much for though, but it's power socket. It's pretty decent though, 3000 watt. <sighs> God, smells of curry out here. Oh, there's a house on the corner. Cooking curry stinks. I like curry, but the smell of the cooking of it is, ooh, makes me vomit. These are not the most stable lights, to be honest, but they're decent lights. Do excuse the glare from the lights. Here is the um, power socket. 
so you can put in different types and USB and stuff. And then when you want to turn it off, you press that and it um, saves the power. And then obviously if you want to turn it off from here, put the power there and turn it off. Same with, with this one. So I'll set it all up, get the um, board out and then start photographing. This is with the lights turned off. It's natural light, you can see a lot of shadow on the left side. And you go here, take the shadow off on the left side, one light on, then you've got power on this side. And you've got quite a lot of shadow gone. So I've got to angle it out of way to get all like 95% of the shadow away. At least it's decent because if you say you can see here like a lot more shadowing when you take it off. Let's shadow in. It's now 25 to 5. Gonna photograph these at times um, CDs for the PC, um, information technology, maths, English, etc. I've done that, 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 and that. I've still got a few more to go because I'm not a very quick photographer. I never have been. So get these done. Finished 95% of the photographing. The only things I didn't get photographed was these Stoke City programs. And they've been sat around like over a year waiting to be photographed. Got these put in properly. It takes ages to put these in properly. Then you've got these, and then you've got to slot these in, and those, and then put that away. Um, and this, unplug it, put it away into here, and now I'm done. Other than putting these away again into that box and putting them away in the other room. It's 10 to 6 and it's proper cold out here now. It's that period where it's autumn and then it changes to winter and then we freeze our bits off. <laughs> freeze our nuts off. <laughs> anyway, two items to get packed. Um, and then I want to get them down the post office tomorrow because I don't like packing on a Monday. I hate it. Let me know in the comments below if you hate packing on a Monday. Monday morning. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments below what you liked about this video and like, share, subscribe, comment, all that and I'll catch you later. Take care.